Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. This is GV Game with Troy's here and we're gonna play Half-Life 2. As you all know, Half-Life 2 is a 2004 first person shooter game well been published by Valve. Where we play the former Black Mesa scientist Gordon Freeman, who are we are trusted into the new dystopian planet to secure the survival of our human species. With the help of our allies such as Alex Wentz, former Black Mesa scientist, and many more, it's up to us to stop the combine and once again save the world. This is surely the one of the most important games regarding uh, in its own, who has set the standard of 3D game. It has also <laughs>
This here is the dam. It's just up ahead. Eli's hideout is here, a stone's throw from the apron and nestled in the old hydro plant. But getting there, with that hunter chopper on your ass, next to impossible. Good news is, the Vortigaunt's working his magic on your airboat, so you'll have a little more firepower going forward. I think he's just finishing up now. Go on out. There we are! That gun came off one of the same hunter choppers that you're up against. I always like to bring a little iron into a firefight. Take that chopper down, and you should be able to tear on through to Eli's place. The Freeman will accept this weapon, or suffer greatly on the road ahead.
radiation
human. Hello? Take it easy in there. You're safe now. But you'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly. Well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Clyde when they were at the top of their field. Oh, there we go. You can come through now. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. <laughs> certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology, something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based, similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they failed to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Oh. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively, a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. You keep right on. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. We've almost got that portal working again, but I wouldn't blame you if you didn't volunteer for the next trial run. Eli Vams is indispensable to the liberation. We're still not sure what that does. Alex brings in the strangest things. The Eli Vams has earned our trust. We are pleased that the Eli Vams think so highly of the Freeman. That picture and Alex were all I managed to carry out of Black Mesa. Eli Vance almost perceives the all in one. The Eli Vance was our first collaborator. The Eli Vance has earned our trust. Oh, Gordon! The Vortigaunt said you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle. With the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh... Take a look at this, Gordon.
thought you were on watch. The Vortigons relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here, working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh, let's get out of here. So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. We used to be able to go right up there to Ravenholm. It was an old mining town inhabited by some escapees from City 17. <sighs> Believe me, that tunnel is sealed for a reason. So, here we are, the scrapyard. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. The secondary trigger lets you grab things. You can throw them with the primary. And once you pick something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. You can also pull stuff over from a distance. Try grabbing those barrels from that ledge up there. All right. See if you can stack some stuff to climb up here. some things. Grab something with your secondary trigger, then press the same trigger again to drop it gently. All right. Now let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog! Come! Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Haven't I, boy? Okay, Dog, let's play catch with Gordon. 
You'll need to use a gravity gun. Go ahead, dog. Throw! I didn't tell you who'd be fetching, did I? It took about 5 years to develop Half-Life 2 and it costed about 40 million US dollar. When it comes to the gameplay length, it takes about 13 hours to complete the whole game. This was the second part uh, from a blind gameplay of Half-Life 2. 
I hope you enjoyed so far. If you did, like, share, and comment. Uh, after the game, this time we're playing Half Life 2. And as my a good friend of mine, Lord Fenton Gaming, mentioned, that uh, this game is over 20 years old. So basically, really good. <laughs> 